In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Andy's Region Tool from Andy Mees. Region Tool is an easy to use, essential editing tool that allows you to apply effects only to the part of the image that needs it. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but Andy's Region Tool also works in Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. You can find it in the Effects Browser under Andy's Effects, then Andy's Region Tool. I'll drag it to my clip on the timeline. There are eight different preset effects to choose from. Let's take a look at them. These presets are great launching points for setting up the controls appropriately for a variety of tasks, such as masking identities a variety of ways, and creating vignette and spotlight effects. For our example, I'll use Mosaic. First, you can use the on-screen controls to position the effect wherever you'd like. In the parameters, the intensity slider can increase or decrease the intensity of the selected effect. Use shape rounding to make the selected region a circle square, or something in the middle. Next, you can adjust the scale, X and Y aspect, and rotation of the selected region. Clicking the Invert checkbox switches the targeted effect from inside the defined region to outside the defined region. Set the softness of the region edge with an edge feather. Click the Show Outline checkbox to add more definition to the region and change its color. Add a tint of color to your selected region and adjust its saturation and brightness. Clicking the Complementary Effect checkbox allows you to add an effect to everything outside the region you've selected. You can then adjust the colors, saturation, brightness, and contrast accordingly. Andy's Region Tool is an excellent addition for any editor's toolkit. And best of all, it's absolutely free. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.